Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be uh, reacting to a 38.5 million Miami penthouse with an indoor sky pool. Man, <laughs> this is the people are living the life. Let's get it. Diego, let's go. We gotta start the tour. We gotta get going. Oh. You bring the camera down. I get, people like it when I do these tours raw. Do not drop it. Oh my God. Ow. Okay, you gotta see this. This is 11,000 square feet, penthouse, echo brickle, indoor aquatic center, this pool, this penthouse is crazy. I cannot wait to show it to you, let's go. Well, Man, people live off those stairs. I'm, I mean, I'll be terrified for my life. I don't know if I can live in like such tall, tall buildings. I'm, I'm more of the um, live. <laughs> First floor of any building because I'm terrified of heights. So I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I'll be. <laughs> the first thing you notice when you walk in is this apartment is all about the wow. You've got all the water here. You've got massive views that are 360 degrees around. You've got five bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, 11,068 square feet. That is a big, big interior space. But this is the moment that makes it for me. This wow moment, the sculptural glass tinted staircase, the moment you walk in, the way the lighting is done. You know what's cool about the track lighting in penthouses like this? They kind of talk to the linear diffusers. So we've never actually talked about this before, but you see that whole black line underneath all those speakers? Those are called linear diffusers, and that's where the heating and cooling comes out. Instead of having grates like regular people, you have the linear diffuser. So I'm having grades like regular people, man. That's regular people now. This guy is dissing, but wow, man. Like when you say this house is a wow effect, I thought it was a joke, but damn. <laughs> Sleek, a super modern look so that the air comes out and you don't even know where it's coming out. I don't think I've seen a living room like this in Miami though. Like if you're gonna be in a condo and not in a house and you are in Miami, like this is sick. This is awesome. Let's go to the kitchen. Kitchen is insane. It's a whole built-in dining area. Uh, and then neat. it's a whole polyform kitchen. And you've got the hood that has the glass here. This is for smoke. This is code. Diego keeps trying to run away. He can't run away. He's got an ankle monitor. <laughs> Induction stove top so you can touch it and never burn your hands. Super, super safe. Like the kitchen is huge. This is a real kitchen. In Miami, a lot of times you see like kitchens that are basically made for ordering out, right? Or just entertaining. Like this kitchen is actually used as a chef's kitchen. And if you look at the sink, look at this. Like you've got, this is out of the same marble. So you don't see the drain. So all the water comes in, everything else it goes underneath and it's cut perfectly to fit in. Really, really, really pretty. Down this hallway. Man, why you gotta have marble in order to see the damn drain? Like, <laughs> You know, when you got money, I think you just do whatever you want to do, man. Like, nobody really can tell you stuff. This is, this is phenomenal. Man. Back here, I think this is really pretty and kind of a cool spot. They've got the cloud couch, huge screen. And then if I can expose, you get the view. There you go. So that's your view behind the screening room. Let's go. Let's actually go out to this. See, man, I, I, I always respect when people are like, oh, yeah, this house has a big view. This house is this, man. Yeah, look at that shit. I'm terrified. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm this high up the ground, but still I'm terrified. But hey, this penthouse is something else. Paris first. He's even going outside. Like, what? Doors. Beautiful stone, outdoor kitchen, full barbecue that's right off the main kitchen. So easy to prepare. Again, beautiful stone in this apartment. Like really, really, really well done. And this is the biggest apartment in the building because it is the only duplex penthouse. And then you've got your entire brickle view. That kind of, whoa. Like we are really, we're really hot <laughs> right now. You see what I mean? Like, drop the camera whoa. down there and see if I can catch it. See what happens. Oh, are you crazy? <laughs> Big view wraps all the way around. Like this is Miami life. When you're up here, you know what you notice the most? Like all the pools. But you know what? I think me, I'll be comfortable living in such a house, man. Like, I, I, I respect visiting them, but man, that's just too high. I'll be terrified. I really prefer being on the ground, you know what I mean? Ba -ba 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 -ba. You've got your indoor pool, jacuzzi. It's insane. 
Like who has this? Like <laughs> you do. Like most of those pools are outdoors, but to have an indoor pool, especially at penthouse level, the amount of waterproofing, the amount of protection that has to be wrapped around this entire space for everybody else that's in the building <laughs> is a huge expense for the developer when they were initially doing this. But I think it's a super, super sick amenity. Now, there's a lot of fitness equipment in this room. We've got a Hydro over here, which is awesome. Hugh Jackman, what's up with your Hydro? We've got a Peloton bike, big open views. <laughs> Can you imagine like doing laps in your pool right here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually this view is. This is on top of the, of the entire apartment, right? So like, I think, yeah, like you say, it, it's crazy like how they develop this, but then also it's like, wow, you have an entire pool on top of, of, of an apartment building. <laughs> What more do you want? Me, I'll never get Look at this gym. Now this could be a different room. This could be a spa. This could be another office. This could be a bedroom. But this actually does the job really well. Dude, they got some weights in here. You got some like, look at these 50 pound dumbbells. Look at this. Dig it, do you think you could curl this? Right, look. Do you think you can curl a 50 pounder? Okay, give it to me. I know. All right, let's see if you could do it. We hold your cameras all day. No, you can do it! You can do it! You can... Okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, before we go upstairs and seal the bedrooms, come see the office with me. Pretty awesome office. One, this screen is insane. That screensaver, you see that? Like with the trees and everything? Like looking out into the Amazon as you're trading and commanding the universe to have an office like this. With the same people that are making decisions on your life like yeah man it's a pandemic we should all get vaccinated and they're sitting up there and you're like yo why are we doing this <laughs> the world is flip man the world is so basic and then the staircase which i know you saw at the beginning that's the case but see that's the case like you know when you visit someone for the first time and they just want to impress especially fellas if you're trying to impress your lady and you show a staircase like this man it should be like damn how much money he's got in his bank account <laughs> Because, whoo, that thing is pretty. Love it. It makes my job in selling so much easier. And that way you can see the reflection of the zipper in my you can't, shoes. You can't, you can't, you can't be wearing up. every dudes in such a house, man. You got to have some of those fancy stuff with the name on it. <laughs> I don't know, like, off white. Because I don't think you can have, like, right. These views are insane. Yeah. Like, wow. Down this hallway, we have our first two real secondary bedrooms. Both huge bedrooms, great views, both en suites. And then in this bedroom, you can really see the building starts to angle. You can see here, like the window line is here by my feet, which if it went straight up, would be right there at the window treatments. But it's not because it basically starts to almost like cantilever off over Brickle. You can kind of see it here, how the building like goes like this. Actually look down, can you see that? how we're already like starting to cantilever out over the building. Listen, uh, this is a pretty, pretty condo. This is, oh, pent penthouse, but I'm not living in it. Like that's, that's terrifying. Like I'm not even with them in the video, but I'm terrified looking from here. Like, yo, <laughs> you, you gotta not be scared of heights to live in this place. I, I could visit for a night, but I'll never come back. Like that's how terrified I am of heights. So yeah, nice, nice place, but who count me out. See like the wave without having to be set up out over a balcony by being inside with the way the building is curved. I, I am right now standing over the street and we're inside. In the bathroom too, you've got slabs on slabs on slabs of stone. Really, really pretty fixtures. And I love sinks like this. I love it with the wood, wow. right? The wood on like the face, right? The wood with the lip all the way around. This is really, really pretty tile. Great fixtures, and then the same thing, you've got the floating piece of stone that matches the countertops in here to hide the drainage. Really, really cool. And then at the other end of the hallway is the master. Now this room, the primary, sorry, might be my favorite because of how like comfortable it is. Look at this room. <laughs> man, this is a cool. <laughs> Yeah, man, I wish I had this, but I, I, I'd still need it on the first floor. We're not, we're not doing that floor. It's awesome. TV is huge. Oh my God. People don't realize how hard my life is. Like, I have like 10 jobs, right? There are people who just YouTube and you know who they are. 
it's all they do. <laughs> they just like make YouTube, it's like their whole, and they are stressed, anxious, busy all the time. I have like real job, not to say that YouTubing is not a real job. I'm just, we're just saying that sitting in this couch mm -hmm. right now, in these people's $40 million apartment is really, really nice. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Primary <laughs> bedroom suite is insane. You've got your All right, guys, subscribe to the channel. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers, you know, before the, the end of August so that we can, you know, one day afford having a $40 million penthouse on the first floor. Because <laughs> I am definitely not living high up there. But I will spend a night. When we reach 10,000 subscribers, or even like a million, I'll promise to spend a night and then record it with you guys in such, uh, I don't know, we find, an, we find a nice um, hotel that has, that's super tall, but still, I think I'll be super terrified of like living on a top floor like that. How Are you guys terrified as well, or is it just me? Am I tripping? Fucking closet. And first bathroom. Whoa, nice. that's a walk-in closet, fam. And clean. Sheesh. Nice and sexy, gorgeous, yeah. great, great, great finishes. Look at that shower head. You see that? <laughs> wow. And you know this place is perfect when, can we just show one thing? And the fact that it's like maybe hardly ever used when there's just one bar of soap right there. That's how you know that when you buy this apartment, you're buying a brand new apartment that's barely been lived in because the owners have one bar of soap. They come in here to keep everything super perfect underneath their like rain forest shower head. Thing is insane, completely <laughs> crazy. Oh, that was a cool trick. Down the hallway, these are the polyform closets that we were talking about where they build these kind of standalone glass boxes for your four white shirts so that you can still see the light and the views. For your four white shirts, man. Look at them looking all along the you. Listen, I, I love the place, but that view is terrifying. I, I repeat. This is actually a beautiful closet. Like, I love closets Shit. like this. This closet is like being in a store. And then this is the primary bathroom to end all primary bathrooms. Golly, my. Step up on <laughs> slab stone, massive shower head, like we saw on the other, gorgeous soaking tub, Jacuzzi jets galore. You've got the moss. You need the moss. And then you've got this floating vanity here. You know how hard this is to build compared to a standard bathroom where you keep all the risers for the faucets and you put them yeah. into the wall. And you can see it here, the facade is still tilted. So like if I'm leaning right now, oh my God. This glass <laughs> just gave away right now. It'd be so bad for Diego mostly because you'd have to witness it. And that would totally not forever. Not just the finishes and not just the 11,000 square feet, but because of like the difficulty it built, like the front facing vanity cabinets here, this is called vein matched, right? Now there's a big difference when you're looking at stone. This apartment makes me feel like I need to talk about stone a lot, but there's a big difference between book matched and vein matched. Book matched is where they'll take a single slab, they'll cut it in half, and then they'll open it up like a book. And so these veins match these veins. That's that butterfly thing that you'll see all the time. Like what people will use, they'll put it like on a, a feature yep. wall in a shower. What I like the most, because that feels a little bit like a little tacky sometimes, is vein matched. So it's single slab, not cut in half, and they match it all the way through all the seams. Like this, this is like a $100,000 <laughs> vanity. The men say that's hundred thousand dollars in a I don't even know what that thing is, but still man, that's like hundred thousand dollars. Are you spending hundred thousand dollars on this? I don't know, man. I really, I think if you have like a billion dollars then maybe, but shish. Just in stone. And then you've got another room here that is just for cardio, <laughs> which is insane. I'm walking backwards, could you tell? No. Could you not tell? I'm losing my mind in Miami, or I'm losing my mind in this apartment because it's not mine yet. Oh God. You've got impact windows, right? That are hurricane. You can't tell right here, but like the distance between the first pane of glass and the outside pane of glass, is like that thick. The whole building is hurricane resistant. So you could hit this thing with a monster storm. Mm. And then I just wanted to bring you out here to show you one of the last patios. 
beautifully furnished. Oh, you're hanging out over. Was, this was crazy. This is like, yo. <laughs> A forty million dollar apartment. I think for forty million dollars, yeah, I would expect something like that. It's it's pretty. It's it's everything that if I had a, a place like I'd hope to get something like that. But I just don't know about living that high up. But still, um, it's an amazing spot, man. Like I, I like the 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 way it looks, the feel. Uh, it's kind of out of my budget. <laughs> I don't know about your budgets, but kind of on my budget but yeah it'll be it'll be nice living in a spot like that it's just crazy like 40 million dollars man just for ish well for a penthouse <laughs> yeah there's levels to this game man anyway subscribe to the channel let me know which other videos to check out um i hope you guys enjoy this i'll see you in the next one